is making a Sunday charge. Brooke Henderson birdies at 7, 8, 9, and here at 11. Another. Our overnight leader by two. She has this for Eagle at the par 5 ninth. She made Eagle here earlier in the week. Reachable par 5. One of the easiest holes on the golf course. That was a bit of a miscue there. Having to play away from the hole here, downhill lie. Yeah, really it's not, not yeah, bad considering the leave. Now you heard her sister Brittany say, really good shot there. Being, being young as well, I mean, she's got lots of growing and growth still to happen, but her game is really great. I mean, we saw it yesterday. Short game was on point. We've seen it there again, short game on point. But not only that, she's long enough off the tee. Yeah. Good two but and then had to work for it. And it's a birdie for Lydia Cohn. It just makes the task for the rest of the players that bit more difficult. Eleven. This is Charlie Hull for a birdie. Charlie got off to a slow start this week. Shot 74 on Thursday. Flag is tucked on the right side of the green today, so a little fade on the wind would be good here. She struggled a good bit with her irons yesterday. A bit too much draw, just what we saw there. But that is a, a tendency when the ball is below your feet to overcorrect. Lydia's preferred ball flight is a slight fade. Might help her in this situation. Started at the TV tower. Let it fall a bit to the right. And that's exactly what she did. And just the tremendous ball control changes from down grain back into the grain to back down grain. So I'd expect this to be quick once it gets through that dark spot. Oh, that was really well done. She's leading the field in putting all week. And it's just as important from long range, stress-free par after a subpar iron shot. Barely lifts it off the ground, back and through. She is cruising. Nope. Take it full trajectory here. And the wind caught it. Yeah, that's a, a bit of a surprise, Paige. I agree with you. Expected her to flight it just a little bit, and that's what happens when you get these wedges up too high in the air. I've got the same yardage as Lydia here. She's going to allow three yards of wind. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Up, right, so Lydia's got a par putt. Of, uh, 10 feet or so. Look, to get this to spin once it gets over the top of that bunker. See how smooth they were through the ball. Ah, oh, that checked up a lot faster than she expected it to, and I did as well. At the 16th, Cheyenne Knight, who's going to turn 27 tomorrow, has this for a third straight birdie. That moves her into fourth alone. Yeah. And I think he had a great deal of belief in uh, Lydia Ko, and that gave Lydia a lot of confidence. She's only had 24 putts to this point today, and it's a blustery day. We've talked about it's tough to putt in the wind. People think about full shots all the time, but the ball can wiggle a bit on its line when it's this gusty. It's tough to trust it. Little fade, very comfortable with that shot. Start this right at the center of the green. Let it fall to the right with the wind and her shot shape. Smart play, sensible play. 15. Brooke Henderson's third. Delicate shot here. Needs to get up above that ridge or else is in danger of coming back down couple of very tough holes to make a birdie which is exactly what she needs 16 we've only had four birdies so 
not the stretch of holes where you want to be coming into needing to birdie them all. Caddies over her career and always just trying to find that perfect Curve. mathematical Curve. equation. Pano for birdie. What an education for Alexa. Like Lydia, like Morgan, teenage LPGA winner. Well, she's given it its due, that's for sure. No problem. Solid car at the 12th. The lead remains four for Lydia Ko. We're at the 14th. The par four. Ayaka boot away for birdie. Get in, get in. Bingo. Oh, that was worth the wait. Cheyenne Knight finishing up. Good week for Cheyenne. Continues a run of tremendous play from the end of last year. Uh, that par four, here's her third. Yeah, uphill moving left to right. It's good touch. Brooke for par at 16. Bogey free, four under today for Brooke. Now, once the ball hits the green, it should kick to the left. There is a slope that will move the ball that way. And this hole is playing over par today, which has surprised me. It's just a birdie hole, but no surprise that Lydia is the best at flighting it into the wind. How much does that big wall of a grandstand affect what they can feel here? Yeah, it very much could be the case because I was feeling the same swirl she was. Safe play. Well, do well done with distance control. Avoided the slope. Going to be a little bit of a tough putt down a slope. It really does. You can see she's still not trying to ground that club a little bit. That was well played from that thick stuff. Oh, what a wonderful oh, shot. Wow. It's hard to judge when it's that thick. Another just absolute well, beauty. Over on the other side of the hole, it's Alexa Pano. And that's another good looking shot there, Tom, because that's not an easy place to, to pitch from. Just got no, away from her just a little bit. But that, that ball really does come into play a lot for, for the second shots into here. And... Good try, yes. <laughs> Ali Ewing with the long range eagle. And that's a birdie eagle run there at 14 and 15. We talked about those two holes being a stretch where you could really make up some shots. A year ago, Rose Zhang was in school at Stanford as an amateur. 2024, she's still in school in Stanford, but she's a professional. She's an LPGA winner. And she closes with a birdie. A whirlwind year, Morgan, for Rose Zhang. to get the ball the right speed here. The tendency would be to leave it short. Well, this is aggressive, Morgan. <laughs> but it doesn't make you feel or feel intimidated. And I think it's a, a big lesson to learn. That you don't have to be phenomenal. You just have to be good enough, and that was fantastic. Oh, that was better than good. So Alexa goes to 11. Lydia's got a six-footer. It's got a little control swing there, Morgan. Yeah, she likes to hit a draw. She's been working a lot with Chris O'Connell on taking that draw out of her, or eliminating the draw. And her bread and butter has always been how good she is around the greens. And uh, that was probably not her best effort off that upslope. It would. The ball is sitting up quite nicely. Gave it a good try. Heading into this season. New year, new Lydia. After a winless 2023, Lydia Cole begins 2024 with her 20th title and moves to within a point of the LPGA Hall of Fame. She wins the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions.